All right, so uh, we're talking about who does what work. We just talked about specialization. Next, we're going to talk about formalization. Formalization is the extent to which job roles are guided by explicit rules and procedures. So there are explicit rules, explicit guidelines about who is allowed to do what work. A hospital is a really good example of this, um, that we have a distinction between doctors and nurses and EMTs, and each of them have very explicit tasks that they are allowed to do and tasks that they are not allowed to do. Um, if you look at a, most nurses could probably deliver a child pretty easily, but if the doctor calls in sick, the nurse isn't allowed to deliver the child, right? Uh, there are rules preventing that. Uh, and then even between doctors and nurses that you're uh, in one department in the hospital, you can't just like go over to the other department and start working there. So there are very explicit rules that guide who is allowed to do what. And that's what we mean by formalization. In organizations with low formalization, there are fewer rules about who's allowed to do what. So in a fast food restaurant, if John usually makes the fries and John calls in sick, then Jim can make the fries that day. There's no, that's not a big deal. Uh, there's no rules or regulations specifically preventing someone from doing another person's job. That's low formalization. Organizations tend to be more formal when there's a high risk of damage to people or property. Uh, so we already talked about healthcare industry. Most organizations have high formalization. If you have the airline industry, there's high formalization. Um, that you know, a pilot, co-pilot, flight attendant all have very specific roles. They can't cross over and do each other's roles. Um, construction is another industry where most organizations have very high formalization. A plumber can't do an electrician's job. Uh, an electrician can't do a welder's job. It's all very highly formalized. These are all industries where if you screw up, people or a person, people, lots of people will die. Um, and so when there's high risk like that, we want to make sure that the people doing the work are very highly qualified to do it. And that's why we have high formalization within those organizations.